All right, boys and girls, today we're in a 2006 Volkswagen GTI. Uh, I'm going to show you how to take out the radio um, so we can install a dentin unit. Uh, it's really easy in this car. Take one of your NFIC panel popper tools. Uh, we can we sell these as a set or individually. This happens to be tool number one. Um, just go into a little corner and wedge up. Just be careful and do it slowly all the way around. All right. Don't force it and come straight up because this has little tabs and they break very easily. Um, if you break a couple, don't worry about it, it's not the end of the world. Um, but as long as you pull straight up, you should be fine. Um, this is a little thing. Some cars have a sensor there. Um, I think the ones that have it are the ones that have the uh, non-digital climate control. Right? And then when you look in here, um, there's actually one T20 torque screw in there. Uh, let me see if I can move the camera to show you. All right, there it goes. All right, so we're gonna fly in here. And that's your one T20 Torx. So all you gotta do is do that counterclockwise and get it out of there. All right, nothing else in there. All right, so I'm just gonna take that out. Make sure you use a magnetic tip. You don't have to, but it does help. All right. oh, look at that, I'm telling you about magnetic tip. And this one's demagnetized. You don't have magnetic tip, all you do is put your finger under the screw to help it up. All right. Now, once you do that, this part just pulls right up. Okay, just comes out like so. So it just goes in there, and you just pull it from the back. And these two, make sure you don't pull that back, all right? Now, when you come over here, now there's two more T20 torques. Now, this is where my video differs from the other ones I've done. Um, at this point, I used to pry from back there. Now what you do is put your finger here, not on the vent. You're gonna break a vent if you do, all right? As you do that, pop it in there. Do the same thing on the other side, all right? Now, in the middle, there's gonna be, you're gonna see a little plastic bar going up and down. Just make sure you get above that plastic bar. And you pretty much just have to pry up. and it comes right up just like so. All right, and then once you do that, what you do, what I always say, is you just grab the panel and just put it sideways. Um, you can unplug it, but the problem is there's a airbag light here. So, <clears throat> if you disconnect it and turn the car on, you're gonna get a uh, airbag warning light, so don't do it, all right? Let me change the camera angle and I'll show you the rest of the uh, install. All right guys, now that we got that piece out, uh, there's two T20 torques up here. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is with the panel tool, slowly I'm gonna go around the whole face and pop it out. All right. Make sure you come out straight with the clips. These clips love to break. Um, if you break one or two, it's not a big deal. I still break some once in a while. But if you're careful, you shouldn't break them. You go now. Once you take it out, you'll see. Let me show you a so good angle. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clips. All right, and the reason they break is because if you look at them, all there's a little plastic stick, and the little plastic stick gets melted over the metal. So if you don't pry straight out, or you try to you don't pull it out the right way, it'll just snap it off. All right, so then on the four corners of the radio, you got another T20s. This really is an easy install. It's kind of taking a long time because I gotta explain it to you guys. And I'm not using my drill. I just should be using my drill, but for some reason during videos, I, I sometimes like using the hand tool. All right, now I also wanna tell you before you take out your radio, make sure all your CDs are out. Because if you forget to take out your CDs um, and you hit the eject button while it's upside down or something, it'll get jammed up there and you have to send it out for repair and that's no good. But if you take out your CDs, there's no chance of that at all. OK, 
Okay, so that's pretty much it. Pull out the radio. And once you get to the back over here, can you see that? Yeah, you can see, let me just get a little more. Okay, once you get to the back over, you're gonna have two antennas. You push on the bottom. And wiggle it, oh wait, yeah, it's 2006. Yeah, 2006, you just push on the bottom and wiggle out. Some of the newer ones, um, now, notice I have my finger on the shifter so it doesn't scratch anything. Some of the new ones have a locking tab that's different, but this one is just squeeze and pull. So on the other end. All right, and then when you get over here, all you're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze these two together and pull this out, okay? That comes out just like so. Back of the radio. Also, um, something you're gonna need to know, if it, if it says the sticker on the top right here, and it starts with a CQ or something like that, that's a Panasonic. If it's a Delphi radio, the Delphi thing is on the side, okay? Now let me go get the adapter and we'll show you how to put it in. All right, now the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to run the cables. Um, this unit actually has an auxiliary and an iPod, so we're gonna run both cables. Um, this is the Dention GW1L VW1. Um, this connects behind the radio. Uh, we actually make a custom cable um, that allows you to connect this in the center console if you have a CD changer or an iPod adapter in between the seats. Um, you just pop it right out and then you can use one of these instead. So what I'm gonna do is all right, come over here. This is really loose always. You just come in here, put your hand as far down as you can. Your hand should be about right here. And then you can just feed it down. All right, you'll feel it. Oh, there it is. You'll feel it hit your fingertips. It's a little weird because, oh, there it is. All right, there it is. Once you figure out the first time. And actually at this point, if you really had trouble with that, you can just tape the other wire to it and help it up through, you know? But you should be okay. Let's try the aux cable. All right, aux cable has two ends. I like plugging this side into the box and this side into the device, because that way you don't have something sticking out of your device up in the air. All right, so I'm gonna run this side out. All right now I'm gonna install it like if I was installing it for real. Meaning, I'm actually gonna lean over. Okay, let's cool up. And there it is. That's the cable run. Now all you gotta do now, this is the box. This unit plugs in here, the aux plugs in here. All right, I'm gonna go inside and get some tape because we're gonna have to tape this up and then I'm gonna show you how to plug in the uh, connector, okay? All right, I'm back. I decided to use zip ties. I just got my new Klein crimpers on, I mean my new uh, wire cutters. So I'm like, let's use them. So this thing has a little thing built in for zip ties. It's actually great, the box. I love this design. So um, instead of using tape, tape is great, but the problem with tape is that over time, it gets sticky, especially back there behind the dash. So zip ties are a better solution. All right, so. What I'm doing now is I'm just tightening it up. This is more so, let me just cut it off. This is so if someone pulls on it, it doesn't get unplugged. That's the only reason I do this. And then we're gonna do, you know what, before we do that, let me show you how to plug it into the car. Now, in this unit, there's no cables on the bottom. Um, some cars, let me see which side's which. Okay, right here. So if, this, if there's a green one here, that's your Bluetooth, you're not gonna worry about that. If there's a <clears throat> blue one here, um, usually it's for your aux, uh, which if you have an aux, this disables it. Um, and also, if you have satellite radio, this disables it, but we have a little part you can plug in between for that. Um, so, if you, have a, if, if you have satellite radio, and also, if you have a blue one here, it could be your CD changer that's in the center console, or the iPod adapter that's in the center console. Those also get disabled. So, um, center console's over here, back here. Um, iPod's disabled, so is the CD changer and aux is disabled. If you have satellite radio, this will disable it. We have a part that lets you keep it, or you can just move pins around. Um, the part we sell is so cheap that you might as well not move the pins around. So, 
this plugs into here. All right, we're gonna unwind this. Let me zoom in a little. All right. So the way this works is it has to be grounded. There's a new device that we just found. It's called the Posi Tap. Um, it's better than Scotch Locks. Scotch Locks are a great product. The only problem with Scotch Locks is that if you don't crimp it right, or if you uh, are if you use the wrong one, it cuts through the wire. This one doesn't. So if you look over here, we got the bottom of the device. All right. So if you look, I mean, the bottom of the connector. The one all the way to the far right is red. The one next to it is brown. That's your ground wire. So the way Positap works is you're gonna unscrew the bottom. Okay. We're gonna put this in through the ground wire. Double check the ground with a meter. Don't just trust some random guy on YouTube. All right. So that goes in there. Now, if you look over here, you see this has a little needle. Okay. So once you screw this in, screw it in away. Oops, what I like about this too, uh, some of my other videos show you to do it by uh, grounding to a screw of the radio. That's fine, but now if someone has to take out the radio, it's attached to the radio. All right, now that's pretty tight. Now the other end has a, a nut on it too. All right, see that in there. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off. Sorry right, about. A half inch, maybe. Whatever. All right, now I'm gonna grab this piece, put it in the opposite side of the thread. Okay. I'm gonna put this in here. Oops. Okay. Now that's it. That's grounded. That's nice and easy for you guys who are afraid to strip wires, and I understand. All right, so now this plugs into here. And now what I'm gonna do is, which way do I do it? Go this way. All right, now there's a bar over here. There's a bar, if you look in the radio cavity, see this, and then there's this big bar back here. I zip tie it right to that bar. So when you're done, Come down here. You can see that now. You can't try to do better. All right, we're gonna go down below. Down below. All right, that's not tight enough. There it goes. All right, so now that's it nice and tight. This is grounded right here. All right, I just push everything back. All right, and just push the radio back in. That's how easy you do the install. The iPod cables will run down here. So everything's nice and good right there. All right, that's it. Videos brought to you by nfitcarstereo.com. We sell and install. We also ship worldwide. So if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thanks for watching. Also, look out. Uh, we're gonna make another video right now. Uh, advanced install. Um, Cause this is the nice and easy way, you know, Someone who doesn't know much about cars can do it. <clears throat> um, but the way we're gonna do it as a guy is the way that, you know, people who pay extra get it done this way. All right, nfigcarstereo.com.